right, I'm going to talk to you about how to um, estimate sums and differences. And this is when you are adding or subtracting fractions or mixed numbers. Now, in order to estimate, you're going to first have to round. So when you are rounding a fraction or a mixed number, you need to think about um, what two whole numbers the mixed number falls between. So I'm going to use the example of 2 and 2 fifths. 2 and 2 fifths is between 2 and 3. And so you need to decide, does 2 and 2 fifths, um, is it closer to 2 or is it closer to 3? And kind of like the rule where when you're rounding numbers, if it's five, if the number to the right is 5 or larger, you go up. Well, with fractions, the rule is if it's, a, if it's one half or larger, you go up. Um, so um, I'm going to show you two ways. I'm going to show you on a number line, but then I'm also going to show you just real quickly um, the way I think of it in my head is that when you're talking about a denominator of 5, the halfway point is 2.5. So when I look at the numerator 2, I think, okay, is 2 um, greater than, less than, or greater than or less than 2.5? And in this case, 2 is less than 2.5. So what this tells me is that 2 fifths is less than a half, so therefore I need to round down. Now, I'm not saying that 2.5 over 5, that's not, that's not a real fraction, but it just shows me or show, it can show you where the halfway mark is in terms of when you're working with a denominator of 5. Um, so on a number line, the way you can think about it is, again, 2 and 2 fifths fall, falls between 2 and 3. So this is um, 1 fifth, 2 fifths, 3, oops, that's not a 5, sorry. <laughs> uh, 1 fifth, 2 fifths, 3 fifths, and 4 fifths. And so 2 and uh, 2 fifths is right here on the number line. So when you look at it on a number line, you can say, okay, well, it's 2 away from 2, or it is 3 away from the 3, which means that it's closer to the 2 side. And if you want to look at it in terms of the half, this is the halfway mark. This is that 2.5 I'm talking about. And you can also see, too, that it's less than um, or that, it, yeah, that it's less than the halfway, so you're going to round down. Um, so now, once you round the numbers, or round the mixed numbers, you can, you can then estimate what the sum or difference would be if you were to actually add these. So, um, so let's say we're going to actually add 1 and 1 eighth plus 3 and 4 ninths. By rounding these, we can get a roundabout answer of what our real answer should be. Um, so first, let's talk about 1 and 1 eighth. 1 and 1 eighth is somewhere between 1 and 2, okay? So we've got 1 eighth, 2 eighths, 3 eighths, 4 eighths, sorry, I'm running out of room, 5 eighths, 6 eighths, 7 eighths, and then, of course, the 8 eighths is 1 and, one, one and 8 eighths is equal to 2. Um, so 1 and 1 eighth is right here on the number line. So when I look at it, it's very obvious that this is closer to 1 than it is to 2. And you can count spaces and see, okay, it's 1 away here, but it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 away from the 2. So that's one way you can think about it. Um, again, you can think about what I was saying where you find the halfway mark, which in this case is 4 eighths. And so since 1 eighths is less than 4 eighths, we're going to round down. Um, so 1 and 1 eighth rounds to 1. And you want to make sure that you show what you're rounding to um, while we're doing these problems just because I want to know is it because you added or subtracted wrong or is it because you rounded incorrectly. So make sure you show me what you're rounding to when you're doing these problems just until we get good at it, okay? Um, so now for 3 and 4 ninths, let's just use blue, um, 3 and 4 ninths is between 3 and 4. Um, I'm not going to label all these, but we've got here's 1 ninth, 2 ninths, 3 ninths. Well, here is the 4 ninths place. Now this one's tricky because it looks pretty close to both of them. It looks like it's about equal distance from each end. So we can count. We can say, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's actually closer to the 3. So that means 3 and 4 ninths rounds to 3. Um, if you want to think about it for the halfway mark, um, I know that's not straight directly in the middle, but this is the halfway mark right here at the 4.5. Um, and since 4 is less than 4.5, that's another clue that we need to run down or round down. 
So 3 and 4 ninths rounds to 3. 1 plus 3 is 4. So this means if I am actually adding 1 and 1 eighth plus 3 and 4 ninths, that my answer should be somewhere around 4. That is the purpose. That's why we estimate. Okay. So let's try this one. We've got 10 and 3 sevenths. 10 and 3 sevenths is between 10 and 11. 3 sevenths is, here's 1 sevenths, 2 sevenths, 3 sevenths. So this is 10 and 3 sevenths, which means it's closer to the 10. And 4 and 3 fourths is between 4 and 5. And I know these aren't equal distances apart, sorry. Um, but the 3 fourths is right here, and this is closer to the 5. So 10 minus 5 is 5. So that means 10 and 3 sevenths minus 4 and 3 fourths is somewhere around 5. Uh, now this one, 6 sevenths is between 0 and 1, okay, it's part of a, it's part of a whole number, it's not um, a mixed number yet, um, so it falls between 0 and 1, and 6 sevenths is, there's 1 sevenths, 2 sevenths, 3 sevenths, 4 sevenths, 5 sevenths, here is 6 sevenths. 6 sevenths is closer to 1 than it is to 0, so we're going to round 6 sevenths to 1, and then 3 and 1 half, any time the fraction is a half or larger, we round up. So I don't even need to graph this one or pl plot this on a number line. Because of the half, this is automatically going to round up to 4. So 1 plus 4 is equal to 5. So if I am adding 6 sevenths plus 3 and 1 half, my answer is going to be somewhere around 5. 